Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Poochie. Um, today, as you can tell from the title, I'm we're gonna play with some fountain inks, some fountain pens and inks. Let me just adjust this camera. So, sorry guys, somebody just texted me. All right, so let me just first start off by saying that I'm new to fountain pens and my first pounce, fountain pen was this this is called an incredible pen from Jane Davenport and when I first received it I hated it like I guess I didn't know how to use it but now I'm in love with this with, with these pens just fountain pens in general now even though these are the only ones that I have but I, I'm thinking about like looking into more but as you can see that's what the nib looks like comes with a cap then there's a barrel here that you untwist and they usually come with these little cartridges with the ink but it also comes with a converter which I love where you can put your own inks in here so I have two of those I had already owned two and I also have this one from Daiso which if you're not new to my channel, if you're familiar with my videos, I've talked about Daiso before. What it is, is a, I think it's a Japanese like dollar store where everything is like 150 and up. So this was just a little calligraphy pen, fountain pen. It was $1.50 and it came with a bunch of refills of blue ink, but it's it ran out. So I'm going to actually try these new inks which I'm gonna get to I'm gonna try them inside this to see how to see if you know they'll fit in other pens other fountain pens so back to the incredible pen this is what it looks like this is one of her newest ones typically they at first they just had this this one the black and gold one but now she has two other Sorry guys, I'm trying to adjust the light. Two other designs. So there's this turquoise one. And then there's one that's white and gold. I decided to get this one. My husband picked out this one for me. So it comes with this converter that I was telling you about. Close the door. Uh-uh. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Sorry guys. And it also came with these three colored inks. Let me shut this door, guys. My kids don't let me get any peace. So it came with these three colored inks that I wanted to try. And I also got this, which is her brights. I think this is called her bright set. So it's got like two each. There's like it looks like there's a blue one, a green, a lighter green, a pink, and a purple. Alright. So I'm going to actually, since I now have four pens, we'll try out like four colors, I guess. That'll be fun. But I kind of want to leave one with black ink. I don't know. But that's basically what we're going to do in this video. And I also want to show you some other inks that I got from her. Hmm, what should I do first? Let's go ahead and put some of these bad boys in there. Kind of want to try. Let's try a green. I don't know. I definitely want to refill one with my black. So I'm going to keep this one black. And I'm going to just show you guys how you, you just unscrew this here. It comes with this little cartridge. And all you do is stick it in there till you hear it with a little pop. I don't know if you heard that or not. And you just screw that back. I like to give it a little tap. 
Let's see if we can get this coin. Gotta kind of let that ink flow down. I don't want to hit it too much. So at first, when I first tried these, this is the problem that I had. Like I couldn't get it to write. But sometimes it helps to dip it in water, the nib, and clean it off with a towel. Hey Jessica, I'm jealous. No new stuff. No new Jane stuff here yet. Me too. Okay, let me tell you guys. So, oh yeah, there we go. Got it to write. So I want to keep that one black. Okay, so Jane, she said at first that her stuff was going to come out. I believe it was October the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. And I was like, oh, I got to get some. There was some stuff that I was really interested in, which were, this was the main thing that I was interested in, in her inks. So I've been looking everywhere and I finally saw it online because I saw on her group that people have been getting them in different states. And as some of you know, I'm from, I live in Chicago. So I looked on the website and everything is sold out just about on, online at Michael's for her new stuff. But they do have a thing and I won't be any here for a while. Guys, keep checking because you know what? I thought that there wasn't going to be any at my Michael's. I was calling all of them. I'm like, I know that there's this, a lot of the people at Michael's don't even know like about her products and stuff, which is surprising, but they have an option online where you can, um, see if it's available in a store near you. So I typed in my zip code and they showed me, um, I went to, what was it? Highland, Indiana. I traveled all the way over there today <laughs> to get these cause they had these. I really wanted her, um, watercolor set. But yeah, if you guys are looking for her stuff, they are available in some Michaels. I know online they're just about sold out, but try that out. Check out that option for where you can search, you know, a store next to you, close to you if you're willing to travel. But yeah, I was happy to find these. <laughs> and I wanted to use my coupons, but you guys know how it is with Michaels. They're like, you can only use one. Oh, brilliant idea. I didn't know you could check for local. Me either. I checked today. I was like stalking this stuff. All right. So this is the black one. I want to leave that one black. Guys, what color do you think I should try? So let me just go ahead and show you guys. I also bought three inks. She had a ton of them. But I couldn't afford to get all those inks. So it was really hard for me to choose which ones. I kind of wanted to pick colors that weren't included in this. And then I also didn't want to get, I have a lot of the Windsor and Newton ones that I haven't really been using. So I felt kind of bad buying these. But, okay, so I got Fairy Floss, which in the packaging, it kind of looked like a, like a purplish pink. But let's go ahead and test these out together, guys. In case you're interested in these and you don't know what color to get like me i wish i would have saw some swatches of them first so i could know exactly which ones i wanted let me just get a water brush here paintbrush all right so it's got like a little girl here cute packaging this one's called fairy floss as i said nice glass container it's got a dropper here oh it's glass made out of glass and they're fair they're really not that full they're like up to this paper full but which is fine for me because this stuff a little is going to go a long way let's try this color out guys so once again this one's fairy floss Hopefully you guys can see that. But it's like a darker, like a dark. I don't know, I can't describe a color. But hopefully you guys can see that. So that's at its darkest, the darkest state. And this is just about the lightest state that it'll go to. 
So I think these dry and you can't, let's just test it out. I won't give any false information. The next color I got is Berrylicious. Cute packaging as always. I love these glass stoppers. They're so cute. This smells. These are actually scented, guys. This one smells like berries. It's called Berrylicious and it smells like berries. I don't care for my inks being... Oh, wow. This is a beautiful color. I'm really happy I got this color here. Look at how pretty. But yeah, these are scented. I didn't know that. Let me smell this fairy floss. I don't know. It doesn't really have too much of a smell to me. Look at that color, guys. That's beautiful. So I'm wondering if this color is the same as this one. See, that's what... I hate that these don't have the colors, like... Because I really would like to have purchased the ones that weren't included in this little set. But that's okay. I got, I got the, that one so I can try out the other ones that I didn't get. Alright, and then the third one, I was only able to get three inks. This one is called Fresh Air. Seems like a really pretty blue, like a turquoise -y. I love these bottles. They're so cute. Yummy color. Yes, Jessica. These are beautiful. It's a nice blue. The name definitely fits it. Fresh air. Like a nice sky blue. So I kind of want to let those dry and see if we can go over with them. So since I have these three, I'm trying to... Guys, this is so hard. I don't know what colors to put in my fountain pens. I think I definitely want to do this purple. I really like that color. This is so hard. All right. So while that's drying, this is the Daiso pen that I was telling you guys about the fountain pen. And it's got like a lot of blue stuff here and I don't want to contaminate it. So I'm just going to show you guys. Just like I cleaned the other one. I'm just going to kind of submerge it up to here. And just get some of that ink off of there. I want to see if these little converters. Not the converters, I'm sorry. Those little cartridges will fit and other fountain pens they look about the same size to me so i'm just kind of cleaning this off see there's a lot of ink in there Yeah, so the cartridge looks the same as the other size. Hmm. I want to pop in this dark green color. Let's see what that's like. So, guys, let me just mention the price of Michael's. These, everything here was $7.99, $8. So this was eight, and then each of the inks were eight individually, and the pen also was eight. But I used a 40% off coupon. I'm a coupon queen. I'm not shopping without any coupons. Let's try this color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pop this in here. All right, so it snapped nicely. Hopefully, it won't be mixed with the blue. And the blue's coming out. Let me get all this blue out of here.
Looks like a lot of blue in there. There's like a ton of blue in here. Why? That's cool when I flick it a lot, comes in comes out. That can come in handy. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep messing with this. So, I'll probably get back to you guys in a little while about that green color. Um, what other color don't I have? I kind of feel like this is the same as that air color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one of these colors here. Let's see if, so they're pretty dried. Let's see if it'll get reactivated a little bit. I'm really curious if these are the same ink. Looks like it's a lot, lots of fun, enjoy. Thank you, Dawn. Yes, yeah, so you can definitely reactivate them. I wonder if this is the same ink that she uses for her mermaid markers. If anyone knows, let me know. All right, so this one has an empty converter. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it all the way down. So I'm just snapping it in. And then, let me clean this out really quick. And then we're gonna do some sketching. Guys, I've been in MIA for Inktober, I'm so sorry. The weekends are terrible for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use Fairy Floss because I really like that dark color and how light it can go. So I'm gonna fill that one with this one. So I'm just gonna submerge it in there, just like to about here. And then I'm just gonna push this thing up. There we go. So as you can see, it's nice and full now. I can't believe that one was scented. That, that was crazy. I did not know that. All right, look at that color. It's very beautiful. I'm gonna try this blue one again because I really want to see how that green color is. God, there's so much blue in here. You know what? I'm taking this out. All right, so let's do some sketching, guys. I definitely should have had that prepared for you guys. But I just wanted to go live and show you guys, share this stuff with you guys, and do some sketching with you. So let's just sketch some faces. Wait, this is my black one. I'm gonna later on put like washi tape over them so I can know what colors are in each of the pens. 
But once again, this is Fairy Floss. So let's just do some sketching. How was everyone's weekend? Tomorrow's Monday. I get sad on Mondays because I love my weekend so much. So I'm just going to roughly sketch. A face. It started to go out on me. So I just gave it a little rinse and wiped it off. I guess it needs time for the ink to flow down fully. So as you can see here, it's getting lighter because there's some water in there. Now starting to get darker again. Let's draw her lips, her mouth. These inks are so pretty. Guys, there were so many colors. It was so hard to choose. So I really tried to pick colors that I didn't really have. But I did have my eye on. They had two browns, like one darker one. And one like, it seemed like a sepia color. I kind of wanted that sepia one. But I have a couple of pens that are sepia that I don't use. So I felt terrible trying to even think about buying one. So I just chose to go with these colors. But I'm definitely going to go back. My birthday's coming up, so my husband told me for my birthday, we're going to stock up on a bunch of stuff. He knows I love art supplies. But I just really want to share with you guys these new colors in case. I like person personally, I love to see swatches of things before I get them. I'm really happy with this color. I'm glad I picked this color. I really like it. All right, so I'm just sketching with it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with water. I really love sketching with this pen. Even the black ink, like it's really cool to see the different colors that comes out the dye.
So all I'm using here is a wet brush, a brush of water. I was, guys, I was so excited to, when I saw that she was going to have some fountain inks, like incredible ink. Because I really couldn't bring myself to spend a ton of money on some fountain ink. I had bought a lot of acrylic inks. And I was going to use them in my incredible pen. That was before I didn't know that it's not really good to use acrylic ink in fountain pens. So I was really excited to see that she was going to have some. Yeah, I have to open up this new incredible pen and put a fresh color in there because I want to see if it's just like the black that I typically have. Oh, let me show you guys this little paper that came in with those cartridges. Cartridges. So it's just um, instructions on how you put it together, which I already showed you guys how to do it. So let's open up this bad boy. I think I'm going to take that green one that I put in the blue one out and put it in here. This pen is gorgeous. Look at that, guys. I'm obsessed. You guys know I'm obsessed with gold. Beautiful pen. So what I do when I open these, because I misplace these so easily. I have a little baggie here with the cartridges and all that. So I just toss them in there so that when I need them, I know where they are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave these here. And let me take out that green one that we put in here. Yeah, because it's still writing blue. Oh, it's not in there all the way. Guys, I hope you don't hear my son in the background screaming. Shut up. He's only one and a half, and his sister decided it would be funny to teach him how to say shut up. And so now all he says all day is shut up. That's terrible. Oh, look at that color. Yeah, I feel like these are going to... Spread a little better. Look at that. Look at that, guys. This doesn't really seem like a green color. It's more of a blue. Yeah, I don't know why. It seems like this one's spreading a lot better than these. But I'm going to keep playing with them and see. Definitely seems more like a blue than a green. But maybe it's like a dark teal. Because when this one's diluted, it seems pink. But when you first put it down, it's more of a... Like maroon, you would say, but more on the red side. Ugh. 
Let's do another sketch. Let me move this out the way. So I'll keep cleaning this out another time and put another pop another color in there. I'm gonna just draw a sketch an eye. Yeah, so it seems like a dark teal color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up well. I love sketching with these pens though. They're really, they're very comfortable. Like, it's not very lightweight. It has a little weight to it. And they flow really nicely. Once you can get them to flow, they flow very nicely. And when I store my pens, I kind of have them. I have them in a, a pencil pouch where they're laying like this. Um, I try not to have them upside down or this way. Look at that color, guys. It's so pretty. I really like this color. I wish you would have wrote the names on these little cartridges so I can know you know which one is which Give her an eyebrow. Just getting my water brush going, my water brush pen. So when you dilute it, it looks very blue, turquoisey. Doesn't really show that green. I wish it showed more of a green, like it writes. These are gorgeous. Clean that off a little. That's a fun color though. I wish I could tell you guys the name of that color, but I do not see it anywhere on these. I think they just say Jean Davenport. That really sucks. But guys, it's this darker green color. And once once you dilute it, it gives more of a turquoise. You can see, kind of see the greens here now that it's drying. But to me, it seems more more blue. Beautiful. Thank you, Dawn. What do you guys think? It's a really pretty color, though. Like, all of them. They're gorgeous. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill that. I'm going to play with that blue one again. You guys bear with me. I'm going to clean it off a little more. Anna, you are so good at doing eyes. Thank you so much. I love doing eyes. I feel like eyes are the window to the soul. 
I love drawing ice. So I'm just going to try to clean this one off and then I'm going to fill it with this purple color that we that I showed you, the Berry Licious. They're trying to get all this blue out of here. Jillian, awesome job in color. Thank you so much, Jillian. Oh, I just pulled this whole thing out. I'm going to clean this. Guys, I think I just broke my pen. This is the cheap Daiso one, the dollar fifty one that I was showing you guys. And I was trying to clean it and just, just popped out. Let's see how it's supposed to go. Okay, so this is supposed to overlap here. Here, let's do this. Yikes, I broke this pen. I don't know if I can fix this. All right, that's out. But I really love this color. So I kind of want to bring in some more of that green in this eye. I'm probably gonna have a ton of these now. What state are you in that you found these? Jillian, um, I'm from Chicago, but I found I had to travel all the way to Indiana. I went to Highland, Indiana to find these. I was saying earlier in my um video that you guys can go online at Michaels.com and search under Jane Davenport, and there's like four pages of her stuff. At first they weren't showing any of her new products, but now they are. They're all like sold out online but they do have do you think those can be filled with liquid watercolors i think that that it would be okay to do it um i would definitely try it. i mean they're so cheap like these are eight bucks and with a coupon if you find a 50 percent off coupon they'll be like four dollars so i think it's definitely worked worth the try i actually um used my windsor and newton inks in these and they said that that's like a big no-no you shouldn't use those but i did it and it was it worked fine it didn't get it didn't get messed up at all as long as you like clean in between them i think that you would definitely be fine i think the liquid water coats would work fine in these personally in my opinion but guys like i said i'm really new to fountain pens i don't have too much knowledge about fountain pens but i think it would definitely be good but jillian um if you go online and you search the product, click on it, and it has a option where you can search a store. So you type in your zip code, and you can put in within uh, however many miles radius, and it'll tell you. You're welcome, um, Don. Try it and let me know how it works. But guys, these are so cheap that you can try to put all all kinds of inks in here, and I'm pretty sure that. It'll be worth a try, you know? No problem. I was so happy to find it. I was really trying to find that watercolor set. And a lot of them, a lot of the stores, it was really confusing to me. A lot of the stores said that not sold. Some of it, like, it'll say in red, not sold. So I guess that those stores are not going to get her new products. I don't know. It's really confusing. But I know she said that it was like, um... You know, with all the hurricanes that were going on, that it was going to be backed up to November. But as I said, on that group, I've been seeing so many people post all this new stuff. So I've been kind of stalking Michael's, the stores around me. 
So this morning I actually saw that the one in Indiana had it and I just I'm like I got to go get this now. <laughs> So I'm just playing with those values. So pretty. That pink color. This color reminds me, um, what color is it again? Fairy Floss. It reminds me of her bright color called Frida. If you're familiar with her brights palette, it kind of reminds me of that color. Let's draw another eye. Guys, I do have some more Inktober um, videos that I'm going to upload. I have been recording some. I just really haven't found the time to edit them and post them. But I will definitely have those out for you this week. And I'm so happy that I'm towards the end of Inktober. <laughs> I've been kind of getting a little sick of Inktober, to be quite honest. What else did you get of her new stuff? Um, I got her new incredible pen. This turquoise one. And this one came with a converter and three barrels of ink. Three of these cartridges. I bought a set of her cartridges here. Once I post it online, you'll be able to go back and look at the packaging and all that. But this came with two, four, six, eight, ten inks. And all these were $7.99. So I got her pen, those ink refills. And then I got three of her incredible ink. And the colors Fairy Floss, Berry Licious. This one is seems is very scented to me. I didn't really smell like a scent from these other ones. And then this fresh air one, this baby blue one. And then this one that I'm drawing with here, guys, this first one, is from this set. It's a dark green one. They don't have names, as I said. So it's, yeah, this one kind of has a scent to it, too. So I think that all of these are scented. All right, I want to keep playing with these inks so let me go ahead and wet this paper and let's do some drops let's see how that looks I really was interested in these um incredible inks because I thought that you can refill her mermaid markers with these but as I said I'm not sure if anybody knows once I post this to live once I post this to my page, um, if you're watch, if you rewatch this video, leave a comment below and let me know if you guys know if you can refill her mermaid markers with that ink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet. Let me get a mop brush and let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and soak this paper up. And then I'm going to use a dropper and I thought that I heard that you could. Thank you, Jillian. I, st I haven't really used, put my mermaid markers to use. I'm really embarrassed to say that. 
But I was just freaking out. Like, I can't waste all my ink. So, but now I'm definitely going to put them to use more. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow. You see that? Beautiful. Guys, these are fun. You have to get a, a hold of some of these. Oh, look at that. This one smells so good, guys. And then let's do the... Man, this smell is just... This aroma right here. It smells so good. Can you guys see that? So cool. These are the bubbles. Let's pop these bubbles. So beautiful. Look at how dark. Put some more of the fresh air. Make it overlap. My son is going nuts over there. So I'm just putting down more water. I want to see how they flow. I want to ex really experiment with these. Guys, it's so cool. Okay, I don't want to get mud. I don't want to make it too dark. Let me leave that alone. Let me mop some of this up. Guys, I'm going to um, dry this with some heat. And then I'm going to add some more layers, see how it looks. Look at this dark color I'm getting here. Very pretty.
Okay, so that's fairly dry. Look at how pretty, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I love this dark color right here. Here is like they're mixing. There's a little granulation right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. There's some granulation going on right there, seems like. Let's drop some more. Just want to play with these and see all I can do with them. So right here, I'm just putting them down dry. No water underneath. Kind of splatter it with some splatters going on. I love this purple that I'm getting. Like, I don't know if it's from. It's probably all three of them mixing together. That smells just that berry delicious smells so good. Oh, I love this purple color here. So I think this is berry delicious and fresh air together is making this beautiful. The camera really isn't doing any justice. I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at that purple. So pretty. So I'm just dropping water. Look at these swirl effects. I'm going to re wet the paper in some spots. drop some more I love it how it just spreads like that it's so cool This purple is just beautiful. Alright guys, let me try this and then I'm going to draw over it with the incredible pen. I don't want to lose any of that ink. So let me get a. Do I have any scratch paper anywhere? Some watercolor paper. Let's grab this.
kind of purple. Really pretty. So that's fairly dry. Let me go on with my black. Look at how pretty they, it didn't make mud at all. Probably because of the colors, but look at how pretty. I don't know. I really feel like I see granulation here, which this is really beautiful. It's a little wet. If you guys are curious on how this black one dilutes, check out my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, a lot of my Inktober pieces, I started off sketching with this pen I love the way this black one works at first I didn't like it because I didn't know that it um, like if you put water over it it'll spread and bleed I thought it was waterproof but I love it now because I use that to my advantage. Look at how that black is mixing with that purple and making a really nice dark plum color. Kids are going nuts. Guys, I think it's really important to play with your supplies. Even if you find something that you don't really like or care for in the way that it works, keep messing with it because, I don't know, me personally, it's always like that for me. Like, some things that I just really, I'm like, oh, I don't really like this product. And then I continue to use it, I end up loving it. She needs an ear, huh? <laughs> That's a really tiny ear. I want to make these eyes pop out more. Still wet here. I don't want to damage the paper.
Let me find her paint over pen. I don't know if anyone um is close to Highland, Indiana. But that's where I found this one. I found these. And they had her new paint over pens, but I didn't buy them. I was more interested in... the inks are my pens dried out no I hardly use them okay that one's all right I'm gonna go ahead and paint with these inks. God, it smells so good. Let's make her some fun here. I love how these colors mix together. You guys can see. Hopefully you can tell on camera. I'm covering that ear up. They mix very well. You guys can do layers. As you can see, you can still see those other colors through it. My kids are going nuts right now. See how you can still see that blue? How that blue is coming up, kind of popping once I add color. And I'm just right now I'm just using this very delicious color, this purple. And I'm just kind of picking it up from some spots. And dunking it on others. I love how it shows all the layers. It's really beautiful. Let me give that a try, guys.
No problem, Jillian. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you joining my life today. I really want to show you guys the colors. Because I just personally like love to see swatches of colors before I get them. her eyes pop more there we go that's a little better Just kind of trying to bring out her eyes this one is like I can't believe this is dried out because I barely use it I'm gonna have to try leaving it upside down Cindy did not think that was going to turn out so amazing I was going to play with I'm gonna go play with my inks down <laughs> thank you Guys, play with your your supplies. Yes, you'd be surprised on the things you can come up with. I didn't even plan on doing this. But look at this. I love these layers. These colors are so beautiful, guys. Thank you, Jillian. I'm going to have to... I, I said I wasn't going to go get any more, but... I don't know, I kind of feel like I need to get a few more colors. I'm going to try to be patient and wait till they come to Chicago. But where I am, I'm pretty close to Indiana, so. I kind of want to add some more blue. I keep waiting to see what others are doing. I get intimidated by my supplies. Don't get intimidated. I do too. But lately, I I have so much art supplies, guys. And I hate to say that a lot of it doesn't get used. So I really have been trying to like not buy anything new. So I was so upset that this new stuff was coming out. But I felt like I had to have it. But I've definitely been trying to put... All the supplies that I have to use because I don't want them to sit there and, you know, collect dust. I really want to put them to use. Yes, Cindy, go for it. I'm going to put a little more blue in her eyes. It's kind of cool how one's blue and one's purple. I think I'll leave that. Alexis Sorry guys, I can hear my daughter picking with my son. Sorry about that, guys. All 
All right, guys. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you guys enjoy this little live. This little ink session that we had today. Look forward to the next one. Thank you, Cindy. I definitely will be back with more. All right, guys. You guys enjoy your Sunday. Um, have an awesome and blessed week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.